All right, so the annual Valentine's Day, uh, I guess you can kind of call it a celebration, even though there's really not that much going on, has arrived on Global. So in today's video, we're gonna quickly go over the details of this campaign and also break down the three free units that we're getting this year. So uh, starting with the news here, it says, Valentine's Day Limited, Valentine's Day Adventure, Baba's Shop Chocolate is on. Select characters are available for exchange at Baba's Shop. Obtain the treasured item Heart Shaped Chocolate 2022 from the All Out Battle Chaotic Future World login bonus or by completing the Valentine's Day Adventure Chocolate Collecting Special Missions and use them to recruit up to three characters in exchange for other items at Baba's Shop. 600 Heart Shaped Chocolate 2022 can be obtained upon logging into the game during the period of February 13th to February 14th and up to 7,350 Heart Shaped Chocolate 2022 can be obtained by completing all the Valentine's Day Adventure Chocolate Collecting Special Missions. And as far as the missions go, let's uh, take a quick look at those. There we go. So it looks like we have uh, four daily missions from now until the 14th, where we can get 400 plus 300, so 700, 900, uh, 1,050 chocolates daily, and all you have to do is clear five stages and undergo training once. So very easy to do, very simple. And let's jump over to the Baba Shop here and take a look at these rewards. So the free units for this year's Valentine's Day celebration are Int Oceanus Shenron, the Tech uh, Teen Future Trunks, and also the STR Great Saiyan Man. And on top of that, we also have a Elder Kai, which is always nice, a couple of Hercule statues, and some other useful items like an Hourglass, a few Kai medals, some Gravity Chambers, some Z Swords, also some Whis support items. So I believe if you are on top of the missions and you get all the chocolates, then you should be able to clear out this store. And even though like it's not that exciting, it's not like they're giving away a free LR or anything like that. Um, you know, they're they're pretty nice uh, free rewards, especially these three units. I mean, the Int Oceanus Shenron is one of the better options I would say for Shadow Dragon Saga, for Peppy Gals, and also for GT bosses. So if you don't have her, that's actually a great pickup. He does a little bit of everything, like decent damage, uh, she can seal, hold on, wait, yeah she can seal, I think she can also stun, yeah she can stun, she can get attacks effective against all, so just a very solid unit, and then for the tech Super Saiyan Future Teen Trunks. Now this guy is not the greatest in my opinion, like he's fine, he's fine, he can be very good depending on the situation and the event, but what I, what I don't like about him is the fact that he's very conditional, you know, like to get his full passive, you need to have a future Gohan on rotation, you need to be facing androids, and if you want his full attack boost, he needs to specifically be facing a cell enemy. So if you're like taking on a stage where you know there's gonna be a cell or multiple cells, then he's awesome. But if not, like for most events in this game, he's gonna be kind of mediocre. And obviously he's in a lot of great categories like Hybrid Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans. So in those categories, you definitely have many, many better options than him, right? So like he's fine, he's fine, but not great. And finally, we have this great Saiyan man who um, is is a good all-around support for the uh, Majin Buu Saga category. He gives key plus two, attack and defense plus 30% to Majin Buu Saga. Oh, it's super class. For some reason, I thought he was just Majin Buu Saga key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%, but no, it's super class. Okay, so a little bit worse than I remember. Um, obviously, the Majin Buu Saga category has quite a few very good supports, so he might not make the cut if you have some options, but if not, then, you know, he's a decent unit, he gets some pretty good defense for himself. Uh, he can, I believe, seal the enemy as well. Let me just check. Yeah, he can seal, and uh, 
you know, his damage is okay. He can stack attack, so in longer events, he does get some decent attack. But uh, yeah, I mean, just as far as free units go, not bad. They are summonable units, so if you guys didn't have them, then that's three new units uh, that you don't have to summon for. And uh, also some other free stuff, so there you have it, man. That is basically the Valentine's Day celebration. The reason that I said in the beginning that you can call it a celebration, but it's not really a celebration is because there's no new events. It's basically just a you know, mission slash a few free things kind of deal. Now, there's uh, some other stuff on Global that's more exciting in my opinion. So with the reset today, we got the Extreme Z Battle event for the Dragon Ball Fusions units, the Karoli, the Pandel, the Bullpen, and also the Barlot. And if you guys don't know what they do, then you can feel free to go check out that video I made a few days ago where I went through the Extreme Z Battle event and also all of their details. They are really good. They are really, really good. I will be making a video going over their, or rather doing their Extreme Z Battle event and also showcasing all four of them. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we also have the revamped Dragon Ball Fusions, the Fused World Story event, where you can token awaken the uh, three free to play Dragon Ball Fusions units. So that's also pretty dope. And that's about it, guys. Um, there's not that much going on on Global right now. Obviously, JP is enjoying their uh, anniversary. And uh, Global players will have to wait for a while before that happens. And as I've said multiple times in multiple videos, um, if you want to save your stones um, just like indefinitely until the anniversary starts, it's not a terrible idea, you know? So, like maybe do that maybe not it's it's totally up to you but it's just like if you've seen the seventh anniversary lrs you understand why everybody keeps saying like there's no reason to summon for anybody else unless you really really love a certain character that comes out before then and we might get a global first in between so that might be hard to skip but realistically nothing that comes out between now and the anniversary will come even close to the power level of the anniversary LRs, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be a tough, tough decision to make, I guess, but logically speaking, saving seems to be the way to go. But anyways, um, Valentine's Day, yo, hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day this year, whether you're with somebody or you're by yourself, doesn't really matter. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.